Hey, warriors. <sighs> I'm a little bit tired. Um, I think I'm getting sick. I hope not. Because my nose is feeling a bit stuffy. But hey, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Anyways, um, let's continue. I don't got much to say. All I know is in the last episode, I'm going back to Kyoto to see my mom, my brother, and to see baby fat face that wants to marry me. <laughs> I am not gonna marry that guy. Anyways, um, yeah, we're just gonna go. But before we do, let me see if I have any letties. Uh, visit to receive a special gift. Um, no, I don't got no letties. I'm just gonna continue on with the story. Let's go. I'm gonna continue on with the boy. Give me that boy. I want that boy. Boy, we got the boy. Wait, what? Why is there creepy music playing? Uh, I don't remember much. Oh, that's right. Um, Hideyoshi is changing the plans. and Yeah, I remember now. Whew. Sako, you're going to take several of the other retainers to Nagama instead of going to... Oh, I'm not going to read this again. I'm done. I'm not reading it. Okay, I think... This is where I read it. Sakun looks absolutely stunned as if Lord Hideyoshi had told him while turning a bucket of ice water over his head. <laughs> but why? I can do so much in her... Ima. You may be fighting just as fiercely in Nakahama. What are you even? Sakun, you and your bad der man. Lord Hideyoshi cuts him off forcefully. Or to protect Nakahama Castle. What's the point of going off to war if we have nowhere to go once it is done? True, true, true. Oh, that's right. Hideyoshi wants to build a castle. Oh, I remember this. Uh, they kind of show that in like Samurai Warriors the game. I need to stop talking about it. Ooh. Sakun looks upset, but he doesn't protest. Mitsudari, you're to take Kyo to Kyoto. So, meaning Mitsudari is going to be there to like eat the food that I offer him. Oh. Understood. Once she is safe, go to Dakahaba. What? Na Har Ima? That's right. Help Saku hold Dakahaba. No. I have to be there to protect you. Hmm. Mitsunari? Oh. Lord Hiyoshi cuts him off too, but there is a gentleness behind the way he says his name. Uh, usually Mitsunari is just following Hideyoshi all over the place. Now they're not going to be together for once. This is an order, okay? Mitsudori, your place is protecting Nakahama. I'll be alright on my own, okay? Yeah, like that last time when you almost got stabbed by a sword by a ninja in the bushes, bushes when we was going to battle with Iyasu. And I jumped in front of you to save you. You better be okay, Hideyoshi. If you die on me, I'm gonna be upset. Neither Lord Mitsunari or Sakun want to obey their new orders. That much is clear. But still, they accept them reclutlessly. Both of them knowing they have no choice. Huh. Okay.
Finally, it is time for us to depart. Ride? Seriously, Mitsunari, you only have to say one word to me. You could say, please get on the horse and ride with me. We can just go back. Oh, wait, no, that's not Mitsunari. The Mitsunari I know is rude and ruthless is mean. That's the Mitsunari I know, so yeah. <laughs> this is not the Sengoku Ikima one. Nah, nah. This is the mean Samuel Warrior one. Let's go. What? The horse? You see anything else here? Point taken. But it's so high and I've never been on a horse before. I put a hand on the back, on the horse back, and then realized that's about the extent of what I know about how to get on a horse. What are you waiting for? Hurry it up. <laughs> Mitsudari, you could have helped her get up there. She can't reach by herself. Aw, uh, Hideyoshi looks so cute. He's so adorable! Uh, I love it! Hideyoshi, you're, you're my friend. You're my friend. You're like, you're like Yukimura. Yukimura is my best friend. Hideyoshi, you're my best friend too. <laughs> Lord Hideyoshi offers kindly, unable to watch me struggle. <laughs> Move. Shoving me aside, Lord Mitsunari leaps effortlessly onto the mirror's back. Really? You could have just pushed me off the horse. Then he reaches down, grasping me by the elbow and yanks me up on total. <laughs> Good gosh, you're so violent. You're so violent. I'm violent too, but that's... Good gosh, my arm could just came out of my socket and didn't not be it re back located. I don't know. But gosh, dang Mitsunari. Ow, ow, ow! You think? I, I don't even... I don't even know me in the game, but I can feel the pain of what you're going through. He literally throws me across the base of the horse neck, giving me a... face full of mane? Well, Mitsunari is brutally... harsh. He's throwing me around like I'm, I'm some kind of rag doll. Hideyoshi, you see this? Somehow I managed to scramble upright into some kind of seated position. But no matter how I shift my weight, I can't seem to get comfortable. What a fidgety little woman you are. If you needed to piss, you have what the <laughs> Okay, now I question why do I love you? <laughs> you have, but you should have told me before you, <laughs> before you, before we got on the damn horse. <laughs> Good gosh, me tonight. <laughs> You're gonna make me choke. <laughs> what the? Yeah, I can't breathe. <laughs> Oh, let's just go. Let's just go. Well, I don't, so there. Uh huh. <gasps> Give me a few minutes to catch my breath. Oh my gosh, the next time I, I bust out laughing, I'm gonna try not to. I'm, I'm gonna try to hold it in because that made me dizzy and <coughs> thirsty. I snapped back at him, turning around to face him, but I stop when I see just how close we are. Y yeah, don't, or is she going to end up kissing him again, like like in the other game that we just played, where he was trying to catch me, and, and he fell on top of me. What? N nothing, never mind. <laughs> Hurriedly, I face front and try to ignore the fact he made my heart stop. How, why not just let me, like, 
ride right behind you and just hug you from behind. Oh well, whatever. <laughs> you would not want that. <coughs> Finally, we reached the part of our journey where we must part ways with Lord Hideyoshi. He smiles as he brings his horse to a stop. Take care, Kion. You too, Hideyoshi. <laughs> I will thank you for everything. Just as I start to lower myself into a bow, the horse takes off underneath me at breakneck speed while Mitsunari really wants me to be gone. Ah! I scream clutching the horse mane for dear life. Don't you dare fall off this horse! The minute you become more a problem, you're officially not mine to deal with. I don't know who's worse riding the horse. Is it Masamuni or is it you? Well, Masamuni is... Okay, both of you are crazy. Both of you are crazy on a horse. I can't even... I can't even ride a horse with both of you guys. You guys are crazy. More of a problem? In I uh, retort. Please let go. Oh. Um. Well. I won't fall then. Well, I won't fall then. Yeah. Well, I won't fall then. Well, I won't fall then, so there. I'll be holding you to that. Just hold on tight. Okay. His reactions leave me so confused, mixed messages and all, that I don't know what else to say. Before long, Lord Mitsunori and I arrive in Kyoto. There's my house. That's the one right there. Lord Mitsunari stops the horse in front of the door and now my mom's gonna come out and be like, Ooh, you brought a boyfriend home. And then brother's gonna be like, Ooh, that's gonna be my future brother-in-law. And then I'm gonna be like, come on guys. And then my, my best childhood friend is gonna be like, I thought you were supposed to marry me. You finally found someone? And then he's gonna start soaking in the corner, picking mushrooms, being depressed with anime, with a, a depressing anime cloud and stuff going on above his head, raining. What What? What the heck am I saying? I have no idea. I. That's what I'm just predicting what, what, what will happen since I'm back in Kyoto. And yeah, that's what I just, don't judge me. That's my imagination. I'm weird, I know. I jump down and thank him. My debt is repaid. Um, you've been repaid me. <laughs> he tells me in return as if to remind me why he has come this far in the first place. Then he turns to go. I don't know what I expected, but it's already hard to say goodbye, but... The way he doesn't seem to care makes it even harder. Lord Mitsunari, thank you for everything. Stay safe. Wait, no. May you always find Victor. That is so cheesy. The mere slow center. I mean, wait, what? Canter? Suddenly stop. Oh, I don't know why I said center. <laughs> wait, why did he stop? Um, Lord Mitsunari turns the horse, presses his lips together as if he wants to say something. <laughs> but no words come out, even though he opened his mouth. What is it, Mitsu? I wonder what he wants to say, but a cheerful voice inter- No! I was hoping for us to have a good special moment, but it was ruined. Oh well. Kian, welcome home. Mother, 
I missed her so much I realized as I see her now running out from the restaurant so quickly she's almost tripping over herself. I told her in my last letter that I would be returning home soon but back then I hadn't been sure when. I'm sure she's been waiting for me ever since. My goodness and who did you bring with I knew it I knew it was gonna happen the anime depressed best friend is gonna happen and then mom's gonna be like you brought home a boyfriend and then the bread is gonna come out the house and be like oh that's my future bread what the heck I need to snap out of it <laughs> I sound like Juvia when she's like having fantasies of gray in her future it's just weird I need to stop it <laughs> We're just gonna continue on with the story, so let's just do that. All right, so before we even, we gotta see if we got some let two. We gotta see if we have any let two. Okay, let two. Let's see, we got let Um, no, I don't got no let two. We don't got no let two. We don't got no let two, which is fine. All right, so we're just gonna continue on. Ooh, I had a burp right there. <laughs> Oh no! If it's if I'm if I'm right, I don't know why, but um, I be like right on my guesses sometimes. But if this is gonna be right, then oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my goodness! And who did you bring with you? <laughs> my mother looks. Importantly, at Lord Mitsunari, who is still looking at us. Wait, Mitsunari has mama issues, so I don't know how this affects Mitsunari with me being right next to my mom, so I hope it, it does not affect him. Well, more correctly, he's the one who brought me here. Is he now? Well, then, I have to be sure to thank him myself <laughs> now, don't I? <laughs> what? My mother hurries over to Lord Mitsunari as if I am no longer even there. Oh, no. Well, Mitsunari, I guess we're even because your mom kept talking me up and she kept, she kept talking and talking. Now it's your turn to embrace my mom and have her talk you off. <laughs> At least let me fill your stomach. We are a restaurant after all. <laughs> no, I... Hurry up now. We need to get this horse fed and water too. Off, off the horse. Come on. Mother, m mother, it's okay. My mother yanks the reins right out of Lord Mitsunari's hand, leading the horse with him still on it. <laughs> Right to the door. <laughs> no, no, don't laugh. Don't laugh. Don't don't laugh. Last time you started laughing, you felt you felt dizzy. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm sorry. Wait. No, wait, you wait. What are you still doing up there? Get in this Wait, get in here this minute, young man. <laughs> It's so hard to hold in my laughter. I'm having a hard time trying to hold in my laughter. Oh my gosh. Lord Mitsunari finally gets off the horse. I'm sure I'm not the only one who knows my mother will pull him off of it if he doesn't. <laughs> but this might actually be the first time I've ever seen Lord Mitsunari actually pushed around. Besides, besides Hideyoshi, considering how much of an imposing presence he usually is, this is hilarious to me. <laughs> hold it in, hold it in, hold it in, hold it in. <coughs> what are you grinning? How did you know I was smiling so much and I was trying to hold in my laughter? Well, you guys can't see because I'm, I'm not showing my face right now, but I'm smiling so much and laughing in inside. Nothing? 
He skulls as he sits in a nearby chair. Or more correctly, he skulls while my mother disposes him into a nearby chair. Oh, wait, I forgot what I did for Yahiko voice. Um, um, I don't remember. Sister! <laughs> Yahiko, how are you? Why are you asking me? I've been very sick. You were gone. The one. <laughs> <laughs> no! Hold it in, hold it in, hold it in! You were. <laughs> oh my gosh! You... I don't know what the heck that was. Um, you were the one who went off to be a poison tester. I'm sorry, it was all my fault. Oh my gosh! Epic fell. <laughs> It's okay. I'm here, aren't I? Not to mention, I got to stay in the most wonderful house all this time, thanks to you. Really? Yeah. My mother returns with our food, fussing over Lord Mitsunari in particular. <laughs> eat. Wait. Eat up now! <laughs> No, I don't. Wow, poor Mitsunari. <coughs> well, he has to go to war. <laughs> you are going to eat. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Hold on. Let me redo that. You are going to eat. Kind of like that. <laughs> Look at you. All thin and pale. You can't defend a woman looking like that. Now can you? <laughs> no, that's not. Go on now. Eat. We've got plenty. Don't you worry. Mother goes back and forth from the kitchen, bringing in dish after dish. Eventually, Lord Mitsunari limps and starts to eat. <laughs> that, that is so sad. So, hey, did you guys come all the way here on a, that horse out there? That's right. Wow! You can really ride it that far? Yahiko's eyes are shining as he turns to Lord Mitsunari, intent on starting a conversation with him. That strew there is really good, huh? Yeah. You like it. I'll get you some more. No, that's enough. Wow. Mitsunari's gonna get fat. Oh no, what am I thinking? You haven't had your fish yet, have you? We just got in some fresh this morning. <laughs> no, don't trouble yourself. It's no trouble for the man who brought my girl home. <laughs> hey, so are you like super strong, mister? Of course I am. You won't get any stronger if you don't eat. Well, I... Let's play swords after dinner. <laughs> no, I really have to... You know, I should just jump in and save him. Get to sleep. You're staying here tonight, so don't worry about it, thing. Oh, really? Oh, now Mitsunari is going to be sleeping. Okay. He's going to be sleeping at my place. Probably in my room. <coughs> Good gosh. You know, I don't get no more token. So, um, stay awesome. Take care, Warriors. Until next time, can I play? Send you away, ballot party. Mitsunari is going to be sleeping at my house and things are going to be weird. 
and eventually my best childhood friend is gonna come to see things going on. I bet you anything. Anyways, yeah, stay awesome. Take care. Bye.